So a couple of you guys have actually asked me, how do I manage to be so productive in terms of going to school, going to medical school nonetheless, running my business, which not only includes uploading multiple videos per week, also running an actual business, having other people that work for me, and last year I was even finishing my second full-length book. Now in this video, I wanna share seven of my most core keystone daily rituals and daily habits that I use that are mostly ironclad that help me stay productive. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. So the very first habit that's really been a multiple year long habit is every single project I'm working on goes into an Evernote folder or an Evernote note. Now what that means is that, for example, you might be working on your fitness, that's a project. You might be working on a new habit like flossing or meditating, or you're trying to figure out better study skills for school, or something you're really trying to do and execute on at work. The way I organize all these things without losing my mind is that in my Evernote, I have hundreds of files. And in each one of those files, I keep everything that I'm working on so it's all in one spot. So that I know I can refer to it on my phone, I can refer to it on my computer, and no matter what I'm working on, juggling business, juggling medical school, juggling my health, juggling cooking for myself every day, juggling all these things, it's not that overwhelming when there's that system and for me, that's Evernote. The second habit for me is that I organize my day around energy and not by time. So I think this is kind of counterintuitive to do advice. I think a lot of people, when they think about productivity, they try to think about, okay, how do I do all these things in this schedule? But for me, the way I organize my day, the two big rocks for me are medical school and running my business. And I organize them specifically around the parts of the day where I have the most energy. So I know that the hardest things I have to do in my business, I do my very first break of the day. Some days in my school, that's 10 a.m. Some days it's not till 7 p.m. But at that peak time is when I'm focusing on the hardest things. And the same thing is true of studying, where I'm never studying late at night. I'm never studying early in the morning. I'm usually studying at whenever my peak productivity time is. For me, it's often right after working out. The third habit is that I never sit down to work ever without doing that three checkbox approach I've shared here before. So the three checkbox approach is basically, you take a little paper, you fold it into a little like three by five square, and you break it into three boxes. Each box constitutes 40 minutes of studying or 40 minutes of work. And then you write down in each box only one thing, one, two, three, and then you order them from the most important to the least important. And you also order them from how much energy is required to do it to how little energy is required to do it. And I only start my day, either my business or my studying, once that list is already done and it's right next to me. The fourth habit here is that in the morning, I've really struggled to do a consistent morning routine. And I've had all the way from over an hour long morning routine to just a few minutes. The most consistent thing I find is something that gets your blood going and flowing and something that gets your mind thinking about something positive and in the growth mode. So for me, what that means is on the worst day, when I do nothing, the main thing I will do is, even if it's just five minutes of jumping up and down, which is a shaking type of Qigong, just shaking, afterwards you feel awake, you feel more alert, less groggy, you feel circulation, so sometimes in the morning I feel a little cold or a little stiff, that's all gone by the time that's done. And then after that, just very, very, very briefly going through my goals, just looking at them for a minute, visualizing them, reminding myself what I'm actually working towards. Habit number five is that I am religious, and I have been religious maybe for almost 10 years at this point. Every single day, I consume content related to personal development. So for me, what that means is it's usually not YouTube, and it's usually not podcasts. So I usually prefer more curated works like books. And for me, that's print books and audiobooks. And the reason for that is I noticed... I start to get the most ideas for how to improve my life and how to improve my business when I'm listening to other people's work. And it's either I'm dedicating time to idea generation or I'm listening to what other people are saying and it's making me think, wow, I should be doing that in my life. And the way I typically do this is either I read 30 minutes before bed or I'm listening to an audiobook while I'm commuting. That's it. 
That's like the 80-20, before bed or while commuting. And while I'm doing this, I'm just writing down notes in a little Evernote document called Revelation. And that's like my master idea document. And I'm trying to get the ideas flowing. Habit number six is that one of the biggest things that made a difference in my life has been doing a nightly or a weekly review. So this nightly or weekly review actually became my mastermind that we do every Thursday. We've done it every week for over four years. Now, all we do is simple. These are your three goals that you said you were going to do. Did you do them or did you not? Did you work towards what you said you would or did you not? And if you didn't, okay, well, what barriers keep coming up? Is it time? Is it sleep? Is it health? Is it your relationship? Is it something else? And all you do is you just act, set action steps for this is what I have to do to improve. This is what I'm going to try next. And that by itself, originally I did this every single night. And that by itself means you are iterating upon yourself. You're iterating upon your habits. You're evolving 365 times in a year versus the average person that thinks about this once, if anything, once. So think about how much faster you'll reach your goals and you'll improve your life if you're doing this nightly versus yearly. So actually, that's one of the reasons why I'm creating this Master of the Day journal. It's based off of my experience using other products, and other journals, what I liked, what I didn't like, and it's based off of the exact exercises I'm talking about in here, where when you're reflecting that many times, there's no way your life can't get better. Now, the seventh habit for me has been something that really helps <laughs> overachievers and people that work a lot. So I've had a lot of sleep problems in the last two years, and one of the things I've been working on doing because my to-do list is basically infinite every single day, is when I go to bed, I tell myself, the work is done, you can unplug now. So I either have to say that, or I write down anything that is truly not undone on a post-it note. And it's more complicated because when you're in school, you can always be doing more work. When you're in a business, the work is literally never done. When you're the boss, when you're the CEO, the work is literally never done, ever. Like when you're an employee, all right, you go home, you disconnect. Every day I'm on. It's, I, it's difficult to just be off because there's always things breaking and always things undone. So for me, that affirmation, hey, you finished your work for the day. So I need you to conscious, subconscious, everything, just unplug. And if that doesn't work, writing down literally everything on the to-do list, whether it is a short-term thing or a really long-term thing. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. That's a little bit of my intro to my personal productivity philosophy. Before you go, comment there below and let me know for you what has been the productivity device or habit that seems to work best for you. So the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. You can also check out my last two videos right here and right here.